Hello everyone. I wanted to share a little two-in-one craft caddy slash makeup caddy that I created using all Dollar Tree products. A few of you have in the past few months. Thank you so much for following me along. It'll be one year I've been on YouTube. Super excited uh, to say that the one year anniversary has come up officially, I believe. And uh, thank you again for all of you who have been who have been with me from the very beginning, who've joined along and who are new today as well. I appreciate all of your support. So a few of you have messaged me in private messages, commented down below asking me how I organize my craft room, how I organize things around my home. And I just thought I would create this little craft caddy that's a two-in-one multi-purpose so you can use it for your craft supplies or you can use it for your makeup supplies however i'm using it i'm using it for my craft room um don't judge me when i sh share with you my makeup stuff that i put in it i am not a makeup girl so i have very limited my little baggie is so tiny i um i'll share with you what exactly inspired me it was the trifle bowl from dollar tree a couple weeks ago that i hauled and when i saw it i was like oh i want to create a caddy with that but i just couldn't kind of put my hands on how i was going to keep it from toppling over well the lazy susan from dollar tree was the perfect solution because once this is glued down this support system here is completely sturdy and it's not toppling anywhere because there's nowhere for it to go i've glued everything down so you can see that i can Turn it upside down, everything is nice and secure. All these little trays are from Dollar Tree. The square mini bowls are from, well, their deep mini bowls are from Dollar Tree. The wooden dowels are from Dollar Tree. And this is an old brush from um, when I Mod Podged and forgot to take, <laughs> forgot to dip it in water. I had a nice hard sponge. So I just, when I tried to wash it off, it kind of starts falling apart. So I just used the wooden piece there now I'll show you the process I hope you guys love the idea if you like these types of videos and like to see more things like this let me know down below give me a thumbs up or even write a little comment if there's something that you're looking for to organize in your home I'll be happy to try to create something with Dollar Tree products that will make your life a little easier until the next video everyone thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day bye for now the stickers off the trifle bowl are so easy to remove. You're not going to need Goo Gone to remove these. They just peel off so easily and there's no residue left. If you do need to apply a little bit of Goo Gone, just dab a little and then it'll peel off or even olive oil if you have on hand. But there was no problems. Make sure your Lazy Susan is working. I have heard excellent reviews on the all-purpose adhesive glue at, from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using E6000 for this project, but as long as you have an even hot glue will work for this. So you want to position your little mini square bowls and find the right spot for them in the trifle bowl so that they all line up. You want to make a little triangle space in, in between each of the bowls so that you have more space for this caddy. This is going to give you so much room. So I'm going to use a brush to apply my E6000 all along the rim of the trifle bowl so then I can flip that over and just securely adhere that to the Lazy Susan. To secure the mini square bowls, all you need to do is just dab a little bit of E6000 or glue on each corner of the little squares and then just posi position them into your trifle bowl. Apply a little bit of pressure and then allow this to dry again. It takes about 30 minutes but I do recommend having it sit for about 24 hours before putting anything in it. So I just make sure I apply a little bit on each corner and then just position it right back into the trifle bowl and that is all it takes. As a crafter, I always have trinkets that are kind of lying around on my desk. So I was hoping that these little trays would hold my trinkets or even my washi from rolling across my desk. But you can use this as well for putting your rings in or any jewelry. They are so shallow that they're perfect for that. So you can just swoop them out with your fingers. So you want to position one along the very front rim and then two kind of push them back so that they're nice and lined up together. Again, I apply E6000 to each corner corner of the squares and then I just adhere them to th to the tray. Next step you definitely do not need but I just wanted to try this out. So here I'm using one of the thicker dowels and then an old paintbrush that I had and I'm just going to break off the actual end and then I'm going to use this piece of wood to attach to the long dowel. I'm going to apply some wood glue. 
um, and then I'm going to give myself some space along the top so that I can still slide the top use the top for washi and then the side bar as well for washi. So the wood glue takes a little bit longer to dry. I'm going to prop up the dowels so that they're kind of leveled and put some pressure on the top. I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue right on the connecting points and that will just secure the two pieces of wood much better. So now over the 24 hours they kind of came together nicely and the hot glue just kind of held it. I wanted to paint this, so I'm going to mix a little bit of teal and a light cream colored paint, acrylic paint, because I just wanted it to match the colors of my craft room. You can stain this wood, you can paint it pink, you can paint it white, you can leave it natural. I just wanted to go with this lighter teal. I gave it just one simple coat and it just kind of covered up also the hot glue connecting area and it just made it look more girly, I think, and cute. Once your paint is dry, you're going to want to put your dowel right up kind of against the two mini bowls. That way it has a bit of a support system. You're just going to take some hot glue, put it on the tip of your dowel, and then insert it right down into the slot up kind of up against the, these two um, squares. That way the weight of any washi and stuff is just supported there a little bit better. You apply a generous amount of hot glue put it right down into the center of the of that trifle bowl and then kind of bring it up nice and close against those two mini bowls and add a little bit of hot glue or it's any type of adhesive glue here and that will just secure everything in place. I want to point out so you want your dowel to kind of come across but not over top of your mini square bowls because that's going to be more like where you're going to put some I don't know, pens, markers, anything, and you don't want your dowel to be over top of those little square bowls. It's kind of nicer that it kind of goes across the other little triangular part. So there's the caddy. It's ready to be um, accessorized. So you put some washi, you can put it right up on this dowel, and then you can fill in all your little containers. I put my punches on the bottom. You've got your glue runners, your erasers, anything really that you have on the go to grab on your table. This is just like such a perfect solution. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to keep using it. I think it's going to be just so practical. So you can also take your washi, um, if you have more washi of course, oh scissors can go right down the middle. There's like a nice open space there. And then you can take some of your washi and put it on the actual little tray so that they don't roll away. Or you can just pull them out and actually put them along the top. Look how nice this spins. It's nice and light. It's so perfect. You can put your washi right up on the top part there. Um, there is just so much, so many options with this little caddy. I hope you guys love the idea. And now I'm just going to share with you how I use it as a makeup caddy. So you can put your jewelry, any necklaces, bracelets. You can hang on the dowel system, of course. You can also put your rings up along the top. You can then put your... Um, any type of foundation, your shadows, clips, jewelry, your rings, they all just kind of fit nicely into all of the little slots in this little caddy and you can rotate it. Now you can remember paint it the way you would love for it to. You can spray paint it. Um, if you want this copper or gold, just go for it. Take it outside, give it a good coat of spray paint and you have such a cute caddy. I hope you guys love this DIY. I am super excited to share this with you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you again so much for watching and until the next time, have a great one. Bye.